Hello? Uh, Fernando Lorenzo. So what, we want to know why and what kills creativity. Um, well, there are many reasons. So uh, let, uh, let's use a scenario. There's a room with a team trying to generate ideas for their new campaign. And I'm very sure that there will be people who generate lots of ideas. People who seem to be quiet. So they are shy, maybe they don't want to look foolish, or they, just, uh, or they believe that their ideas are not good enough. Or simply, they have nothing in their head. And of course, you know, also there are people who seem to be very motivated to judge and criticize every idea that's on the table. So, and I guess they always say yes, but, yeah, but there is always something wrong. So, um, I'm very sure that we may assume that creativity killer will be those who judge us all the time. But now I argue that, uh, you know, it is not really their fault. Because these people are only using the uh, non-creative thinking style. And for this reason, they are not able to support the process of uh, idea generation. So uh, let me give you a simple solution where you can adopt um, uh, you know, to this typical situation to make sure the team has, uh, a, a, you know, what you got to do is to make sure the team has a thinking plan before they actually think. So then uh, you guys should use thinking rules to reinforce the process. Now, for example, if a team have one hour yeah, to generate uh, and select ideas, then uh, we can break down you know, this uh, overall hour into two sessions with 30 minutes on each. So first of all, agenda and expected outcomes must be uh, communicated to every uh, team member. And then the team uh, can start the uh, first session by generating ideas. Now, however, every member must follow the divergent thinking rules. So what they need to know is that there is no judgment during idea generation. It is all about quantity. Everything is accepted. Nothing is too foolish or stupid. So that means they, ha they should have fun and they have the license to be mad. Yeah? If you think in, uh, let's say, in a diagram format, um, this whole process, uh, it goes through a divergent process. It's all about expanding, generating more options. It's about opening up for more ideas. And uh, now after you know, a range of ideas are generated, then the whole team can start to analyze and evaluate their options. So this can be supported by uh, the uh, conversion thinking rules. So then what you've got to do is to tell yourself that there's no more ideas now. It is all about finding flaws, finding issues, refinement of an idea which will lead to actions. So this process can be supported by having a set of uh, selection criteria. And again, if you look at this uh, from, from a kind of a diagram perspective, so uh, it, the whole process is convergence. It's all about finding the best answer. Yeah, it's all about refining, selecting from a range of options, trying to narrow down to one perfect uh, kind of a, a single point. It converges. So, um, but we have to re remember that uh, this is not uh, restricted to only two sessions. A variety, uh, a variation of thinking sequences should be developed to suit uh, each speci uh, specific situation. So by doing this, there is no more confrontation where some ideas are generated and others will judge and kill ideas. And, and by managing our thinking, the whole team will work together using their whole brain uh, to contribute to team goal. So the thinking goes through a parallel process, yeah, where uh, every member will think in the same direction, using the same thinking styles, one at a time. And hence, there will be time to be foolish, to be crazy, to be creative. And at the same time, there is also you know, like, uh, time for people to be serious, analytical, cautious, realistic, and pragmatic. Yeah? So um, now, in conclusion, uh, if, you, if you don't want to kill creativity, when you want to generate ideas, then you can try my technique. But moreover, if you want to uh, think creatively, you have to remember that there is more than one correct answer to a problem. Logic is not important to creativity. It's all about free flow. Uh, you don't need to be practical and follow established rules. And uh, you really cannot assign blames on failure because there is no failure. Yeah, it's all about generating ideas. And you need to recognize the power of fun and play. You have to enjoy yourself. And nothing is foolish and uh, too crazy. And now, everyone can contribute, no good or bad. There is just idea. And finally, it is all about quantity, generating resources for later development. Yeah? Yeah, wow, I hope that works. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, see you.